You're watching the Talk Minute, and I'm here, CJ. Welcome back to another album review where we go through albums and go through what I like about them and what I don't like about them. And yeah, spoiler alert, I like everything on this album. Honestly, as you can see, the title Twilight Force at the Heart of Wintervale, a brand new power metal album from one of the best power metal bands in the game nowadays honestly one of the best power metal bands in the game nowadays one of the best newer ones i been a fan of their of them since like 2019 when they came out with their uh album just before this i like that album a lot and yeah i wasn't really doing those album reviews at the time but yeah let's get into it what i like about this album toilet force really delivers some amazing power metal with this album the main thing that amazed me about this album is the fresh take on the neoclassical, like, ripping uh, guitar playing style that's on this album. A lot of uh, uh, the guitars and the keyboards are linked up, and there's a lot of uh, neoclassical melodic playing, and I really do like this about this album. It's kind of a... But it has a signature sound to it. Not It's not like all the other bands in the genre. It has like this thing to it that sets it apart from the rest of the bands that also do this. Like uh, Children of Bodom, which they're melodic death metal, but they still have the neoclassical in their original style. And uh, Rhapsody, which, yeah, Rhapsody is absolutely legendary. This album should be legendary too, as I'm going to mention why this album should be legendary. Uh, the, at the Twilight of Wintervale deserves to be considered a legendary piece in the history of this genre of power metal or neoclassical power metal or symphonic power metal. I'll go out on a limb and say this is a neoclassical power metal album. And yeah, I absolutely dig that genre. I absolutely love that genre. And yeah, um, it's just one of the... It's one of the greatest guitar playing styles, one of the greatest, like, ripping styles that that is in power metal. Honestly, power metal is one of my favorite genres, and like death metal, have some of the best guitar players out there. And this album, the guitar players on this album, absolutely kill it. Twilight Forest gave us an epic feeling release with everything and more fans of this genre eat up, including myself. Can't stress enough how good this album is, from front to back. Every single song. This album gives eight really good songs. Hard, very hard to choose favorites when it comes to this album. I would usually be like, okay, this one song is like the best one on here. I do have a favorite, but it's very close to the other ones, and I really had a hard time choosing which uh, album was my favorite from this album, but yeah. Standout songs, there is five of them. I pick five of them usually. I pick five of them today. Uh, Twilight Force, the uh, title track of the band, honestly. It's the title track of the band. It's the first song on the album. If you watch my reviews before, you know that I'm a sucker for the opening song. This one wastes no time getting into the juicy power metal that we all expect. The, the fast ripping style, the soaring vocals, and the neoclassical feel to it. I, yeah. At the heart of Wintervale, the high range power metal vocals make the song special. I also like, love the way the guitars and keyboards sync up. They like simultaneously play along, and it's just... The complexity song on this song, uh, the complexity on this album is just on another level, including this song. I'd say that at the heart of Winter Rail and Highlands are the two most complex songs on this album. Also, Highlands of the Elder Dragon, or uh, yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. Highlands of the Elder Dragon, an absolute epic song with everything you'd want as a listener of this brand of music, power metal, epic power metal, or symphonic power metal, or, yeah, all the genres that this album could fit into, because there's a lot of different genres that this one could fit into. 
the long masterpiece of the album and my favorite song. The last song in the album also is just as long or longer, but Highlands of the Elder Dragon is my favorite song on this album, and it's the long masterpiece of this album, so I would say. Sky Knights of Aldaria. I think how he's, I don't know how to say that, but I tried it anyways. Hard-hitting song that has no relent. Amazing riffs and vocal parts. An epic song, honestly. Just absolutely an epic song. And the solo on this song is one that you should listen to on repeat and just take in. It's just such a masterpiece of a solo. It's just... It's just sweeping, melodic, just fucking epic, honestly. It's just one of the absolute greatest... Uh, one of the greatest solos I've heard in a very long time. Sunlight Night, Blasting a Thousand Miles an Hour. Is this great power metal song that just adds to the epic feel of this album. Um, and I do like that stop in uh, they kind of like had this like tropical sounding thing for like maybe a couple of uh like almost 30 seconds and then went back to the more melodic then it went back to the neoclassical stuff again and for some reason that works and some reason that's fun and i like it and so yeah that's what i think of this album i hope everyone liked it and uh yeah stay tuned i'm gonna upload a little more